Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dante Collector here with another review. Uh, this is the X-Force Wave. Uh, this is Sunspot. Um, and so let's take a look here. So in the front we have that X-Force logo, Marvel Sunspot. Sunspot right here, and he comes with a uh, strong guy, or strong man's um, torso. Here's the side art here. Here's the back. If you want to pause and read this, you can. And then here's the figures that are in the wave. Deadpool. Um, shoot, I forgot his name now. Black Tom. Uh, and then... Oof, let me read that real quick. She... Shakla? Shakla? And then uh, Maverick. Sunspot. And... Uh, Warpath and Deadpool Pirate. Uh, and then here's the other side. Here's the top with the X and then the bottom with the DCPI. Uh, but besides that, let's crack this thing open. And here's Sunspot out of the packaging. He comes with two accessories minus the uh, torso that I told you guys already. Uh, he comes with these like cosmic blasting effects here. Uh, we've seen them with uh, Adam Warlock. Uh, they're just painted black. So, yep, we've seen these before. We get two of those. And then uh, that's really it for accessories. And then here's um, Sunspot out of the packaging. Uh, so they did a really good job on the sculpting. It looks like yeah, it comes with this thing here. And then these more cosmic effects going on there goes around his sh shoulder there it's pretty cool and then everything on him is basically black um and then he has this yellow collar here with a red x for x force uh the hands are black too with some yellow bracelets and they still have these peg red peg holes here then you start using that technology <laughs> like now um and then nice uh, design going on here looks like an M kind of to me for the blue uh, and then the bottom you have some yellow stripes here they're raised up sculpt which is pretty cool and then yeah that's really it for a uh, sense but I don't really see any mess ups besides me yeah, there's a little bit of red bleeding there and then some they could probably paint that a little bit that would have been better same there would have looked a little bit better but it doesn't bother me that much um let's go over his articulation so his head can move down that far especially with the color that helps actually it doesn't do anything it doesn't mess anything up so that's nice you can get him to look up that far you get side to side motion but the this thing kind of gets in the way for his like uh, ribbon thing, ninja ribbon for his eyes, whatever it is. You get another one, you get eh, no head pivot really. His arms could go up mm, pretty much 90 degrees. You get 360 rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Yep, just like that. And then his wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. He has an ab crunch that so you could go down that far. You could go backwards that far. He has 360 uh, waist um, swivel. And then his legs can kick out just that far. Kick forward pretty good. And then backwards pretty decent. Better than usual. And he has a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. He has a boot cut. And his ankles could. Uh, hinge down that far down and then hinge up 
that far and he has ankle pivot really cool figure i don't know much about this figure and uh, this character in specific i don't really know much about any of these figures besides deadpool and just a little bit of black tom cassidy and warpath but that's really all that i know from the x-force i don't really know about him uh he's cool figure basic articulation um just a few paint apps that they could have fixed a little bit um but that's really all good articulation um but just some minor painting fix-ups that should have been added in but yeah that's all I've got and the winner for the shadow who uh, reposted this on your story and tagged me and guessed the character correctly, which is Sunspot, goes to Puffa Customs. Good job. Uh, make sure you check out his Instagram. And then uh, here are the reveals for tomorrow. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it, um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, I, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.